A warm welcome to you from wherever you're watching us from. Thank you so much for sticking with us. This is Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Aguko. It's a pleasure being with you on this fine Tuesday morning. Remember, it's Entrepreneurship Tuesday right here on Y254 TV. We are coming to you live from the broadcasting house here in Nairobi, Kenya. We are also streaming live through our website www.kbc.co.ke forward slash y254 is the place to be where you can be able to fo engage with us, follow us online from wherever you are. Welcome to this morning conversation. T t today, we want to talk about matters concerning a breaking out in tours and recreation. On this fine Entrepreneurship Tuesday, we want to talk about matters concerning photography with one individual who does a fantastic job. He goes by the name Michael Kibaria. He is uh, a Beck, uh, from Beck Lane Ventures. Can you send a mic? Thank you so much, Ram, for How having are you feeling, me. My brother? I'm feeling great, and you? I'm, I'm, I'm well. I'm awesome. well. Thank awesome. you for finding time to join me today. And of course, even as we engage with uh, Mike today, we welcome your presence. We welcome your feedback. Let us know where you're watching us from. Go to Facebook. There is a question of the day that has been posted on our Facebook page. That's why 254. Uh, a TV, that's the name of the Facebook page, head over there on the question of the day, drop in your comments on the comment section, feel free to let us know where you're watching us from, engage with us, give us your thoughts in regards to this discussion, and of course Brian Sakwa will be sampling your feedback a bit later on during this show. But first of all, Mike, uh, for somebody who's meeting you for the first time, tell me a bit something about what you do, and uh, about what... Uh, 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 the name Becklane Ventures is all about, Michael. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Ram, for having me t t in the, this morning. I'm truly really grateful for that. So my name is Michael Kibaria. So I'm the founder of Becklane Ventures. So Becklane Ventures is a visual hub that keeps you relevant in the market space. And that's through visual uh, content. That's uh, photography, video production, mm -hmm. anything in form of visual. On visual. You are mm -hmm. the guy. You are the gold guy. Mm -hmm. It yeah. gives you a two tour of uh, the world in terms of photography, if I can sum it up like that. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's, yes. that's, that, that's a, a, a nice way of putting it. So um, yeah. when did you start doing this? The, the inception was in 2018. 2018? Yeah. Wow. And now 2022. COVID struck you. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. And, 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 yeah. and now I'm looking at, at uh, 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 Becklane Ventures and I'm asking myself, okay, since 2018 to 2022, how did you manage to, to tackle uh, the pandemic? But we'll get there. We'll okay. get there. Okay. So yeah. why did you choose this particular aspect, this particular uh, niche of uh, entrepreneurship? Well, it was in form of an accident eh? when I used to play rugby. Eh? So when I uh, had players who complained not receiving their pictures, mm. and I saw a niche and a gap through that. That's when I took uh, upon myself to be taking pictures and ensuring that every player gets a picture. When they're in the field, either they win or not, they mm -hmm. need to get a picture for that because they took the same effort to put in even if they don't win. Mm -hmm. So that's when I took up upon myself to start taking pictures okay. in the sports element. So, so um, the players are complaining of not getting pictures of themselves. Um, is, is, is it that there was a photographer who was hired? Um, a, what, what exactly are we, are we talking about here? Unfortunately, sometimes when you are only the pictures being captured are only for the winners. Oh. Only for the winners and, and the best player. During a game, yeah? During a game. So or, or, or that perfect <laughs> score. The exactly, perfect score. And that can be only one picture. But in the field, there were a lot of players. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So everyone is like, you know, I also need a picture of myself. Yes, because you, the player took the same effort. It's only that uh, the time wasn't right. But the same <laughs> effort they took. Yeah. Yeah, it's only that uh, I, I feel they need also to be appreciated, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's how I saw it and I saw the pain and only just to translate that solution to photography and wow. uh, keeping them motivated because at the end of it all, you'll be able to see and monitor their progress. Mm -hmm. This is how they started this season, this is where they're going. And also there will be hardship. The challenges are there. Those are part of success. Not mm -hmm. only the glory, but mm -hmm. also not the sweat, blood and tears because, in the sports. Because before the goal was acquired, yes. there are, the, the ball must have gone through some process. Some process. In the, mid, in, 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 in the middle of the field. And, and the, everyone was, took part in that process. It's not one person. The one who scored. Yeah. 
or the or, or the or, or the goalkeeper who saved the ball. Yes. So you have that shot of him, you know, jumping to uh, capture that. Yet there is somebody who is the striker and not, not the striker, the striker, the defender. Yes. Who, who managed to return the ball back to the other side? They yeah. don't have their pictures. Exactly. So you find not only in the only football, but all spectrum of sports from rugby, uh -huh. uh, golf. There's always behind the scene, but all those people they are putting in their effort. Also, you yeah. you cover any type of sport. Any type of sports. Yeah, okay. any type of sports that we, we have in Kenya, mm -hmm. we do capture them. Do you have any favorites? Like uh, Michael's <laughs> favorites? <laughs> now, now we are in a, a, a time of World Cup, so I'm wondering what is Michael's favorite, you know? All of my favorites, because yeah. I'm very passionate about every sport. Because I always have a goosebump whenever I have a sports activity. Mm -hmm. And that's something I can usually do for free, because that's the passion I have for. Okay. Yeah. Gr growing up, you, you, did you love sports growing up? Yes, I love sports when growing up. I, I used to participate in uh, sp uh, football and also boxing. And boxing? Uh, yeah, boxing. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, forgive me, I don't have any injury, but <laughs> I did <laughs> box. <laughs> <laughs> you know, must you have any injury? I, I, I don't know. Is it a must? Uh, they have looked at me. It seems like uh, one one needs to have an injury. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, yeah. I, I thought you mentioned kickboxing. That's what I thought you mentioned. So you say boxing. Yeah, boxing. Um, you love you love you engage in boxing and, and and football. Yes, and rugby. And and rugby. Yes, and and also recently cycling. <laughs> cycling too. Yes. Recently. Yes. Okay. Did you join any any teams? I'm really quite easily as well. Primaries, high schools, really. Those were in my childhood. Those were primary. Yeah. yeah but also now as I'm growing up, uh, I was part of Mwamba rugby team. Mwamba rugby team. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You played for that team? Yes, I played for that team. Wow. Yeah. I have, I have a cousin of mine who is also uh, doing rugby. Awesome. Uh, he, he, he plays uh, uh, for KCB. Oh, okay. Yeah. KCB. They're the champions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's called Rocky. Shout out to Rocky. Oh, By the way, okay. he, he does a good job there. Yeah. So w when you talk about rugby, I, I really... Relate. I can relate. I can relate. And those shots need to be gotten. I, absolutely. So w yeah. when, when you got into this uh, venture, yes, it must have taken, you know, time for it to take off. Uh, uh, absolutely, you need to uh, also have patience with yourself, mm. and also patience with the business, patience with the market, and uh, I agree with you. It has taken uh, quite uh, a bit of time for it to take off, mm. and that's something that uh, people don't share, but it uh, takes time. It takes time. Yeah, it takes so, time. So, did it start now before 2018 mm. and then it took off or after 2018 is when it started to peak? Uh, that was after 2018 then it started to peak. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Many complain about capital. Yes. As you know, I want to start a business but I don't have money. Yes. Um, maybe give us a thoughts in regards to that. Complaining of capital. <laughs> did you have capital? Of course not. I didn't have capital. <laughs> but I guess it's uh. something that uh, people, we don't need capital sometimes at a business. Mm. The only thing that you need is uh, just an idea. Because once you have an idea, the idea is going to generate the capital that you may need. And also, fortunately for me, I didn't also have capital, but also bootstrap mm. upon myself. And uh, I used to sell uh, merchandise for my company mm. uh, when I was in college. Company? Backland Ventures. Okay. So I could brand uh, the merchandise, the t-shirts, the hoodies, the caps, and they could have a markup on it. So I used to save the markup little by little until I was able now to afford and buy a camera. So I didn't have a, I didn't have capital, but I used what I have to mm -hmm. to save mm -hmm. and also create a, a revenue stream for myself. So selling clothes and, mm -hmm. and, and, and branding them. Yeah, branding merchandise for the company. T-shirts. T-shirts, hoodies, uh, bags. Ah. Yeah. So that's how I was able now to raise the capital, but initially didn't have any capital. So when, I, I'm wondering how long it took for you to now get it well established in a period of how uh, many months? You give or take? Uh, nine months. <laughs> give or take nine months there? Nine months. That's uh, shy to an year. <laughs> ah. Yeah. Wow. Wow. So mm. it took you close to a year to pick up. That's so we are looking at 2019 there. Yeah, 2019. 2019. So it's now was getting some momentum. 
Yeah, it's that's when I was able not to purchase the, the gears because mm -hmm. they're they are not cheap. Because I had to save uh, quite a lump sum of cash. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, you know, many always want to, yeah. you know, get it started yeah. and you make it within a short period of time. And after three months, you, are, you give up, you're like, ah, I've tried. Nimejaribu. But for you, it took you a year, a whole year. Yeah. You must have been patient with this business, my brother. Absolutely. Patience, I think, is a virtue because you need to have patience for you to. Because if you didn't have patience, you could have given up uh, maybe before you started because the challenges mm -hmm. are there. Because before you find your first client, you need also to market yourself, present yourself, mm -hmm. show up to the meetings, show up to the clients. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you have to volunteer, unfortunately. Advertise unfortunately. yourself. Sorry? Advertise yourself. Advertise yourself, and that's money. And you need also to be patient with yourself on that. This, uh, this, this is a common mistake many people make, yes. many youths make, when, when they're starting a business. Yes. And uh, they go in so hard, yes. so fast, yes. that when it crumbles within uh, four months or so, yes. they're out. Yes. They have taken so many loans yes. and they don't know how to repay. Yes. Uh, maybe your advice towards uh, many who are trying to you know, pick up their business. Oh, okay. Uh. So my advice will be now to grow organically because once you grow step by step, you're going to learn in, in phases and in bits. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Okay. Pause there. <laughs> okay. You said organically. Yes. What do you mean when you say organically? And then you proceed from there. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. What I mean organically mm -hmm. is that uh, once you, you use what we have currently, sometimes you may not need a loan to start a business or you give yourself a lot of pressure to, for you to acquire, buy something extra, etc. You use whatever you have slowly by slowly and then you'll be able to learn uh, through the process what okay. you may need. Mm -hmm. So for example, if uh, someone takes a loan to start a business, that cannot be very advisable. But you can start with whatever that you have, you grow, and through growing, you'll make small losses. Mm. So the small losses are going to give you a lot of wisdom as you grow. So when the bigger chunk of money comes, you mm. know better because you have gone through the losses in small bits that you can handle. So when that uh, bigger, when you want to grow big, it won't overwhelm you because the steps, you have really calculated them in the inception period. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you won't end up regretting it. Well, uh, it's also being patient because the regret is there. Because you have also to, to, to see as a school fees you have paid to learn that lesson. And that lesson should make you wiser, not regret. You need to be wiser from that. But regret, you need also to forgive yourself. So I'm looking at Michael here. You've just started a business and uh, uh, it's picking up. Yeah. Two years later. <laughs> <laughs> Corona. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. How, how did you manage to go through that phase of COVID? Uh, through uh, creating a safety net and also uh, coming to reality and also uh, downsizing on our, opera on our op operation. Yeah? So you have to also to downsize on our office space, you go to a smaller space and mm. also looking at the ways that you can now save as much as possible. And also apart from that, create other revenue streams that you can bring into the funnel and think outside the box. So you, you had to shift office? Absolutely, and on size in the space. Let's talk about, uh, give, give me an image. So um, what happened here? You, you, you're paying rent somewhere? Yes. No money is coming in? Yes, because the client doesn't have the purchasing power anymore, so no check coming from the client. Yes. So you have to, to see on your good thing you had some reserves. So you have to look at ways that you can now uh, uh, minimize on cost. Minimize on cost and also tighten the belt a bit so that, okay, okay, okay. So that you can save. Mm -hmm. And also that gives you, uh, on a later note, a positive way to look at how you can create other revenue stream mm. so that you can survive. You was, is, were you saving before COVID struck? Yes, and, yes, and, I was It's a culture that we have been having as a company of saving. Wow. Uh, so, so for every business that comes in, you never know. So you have to save for the rainy days. Mm -hmm. Yes. So one thing you did, yes. you shifted locations. You changed your workstation. Yes. Okay. And also... Uh, uh, Fortunately, many people are working from home, so mm -hmm. you find if uh, you didn't need uh, an errand to run within physical uh, means, you need to do 
uh, just operate from home so that you can save us on costs. Okay. As okay. you think for the next step. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. And 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 uh, one other thing after after shifting, yeah. you do you have people that you're working with? Many people got laid off during this period. Yes. Um, did you have a team that you're working with? Yes, I did have a team. Did you lay them off? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I could not afford to. You could not afford to? Yeah, they are part of the success and the part of us that hold the company because without the team, the company does not exist. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Must have been so challenging coming up with this thing uh, to, to, to stability post COVID. Yes, um, mainly it was more on emotional. Mainly it was no more of emotional. What, what do you mean? Emotional, emotional you find, uh, for example, you had some goals for that year and also some expectation, but now it's no longer there. So you have to, that can really take a heart on you. Mm. And also looking mm. at uh, survival mode has been really been affected. That means there's no money. So yeah. some people may get into panic. Uh, mm. So also emotional, that was the main thing that you had to focus and, on. And you used to a certain lifestyle. Exactly. So to adapt, you know, so if you're eating a pizza, then you have to adapt. You have to, mm. to adapt also on what you, on your life and what you, you have been using. Uh, if, uh, for example, mm. just downsizing on everything. Also on your, okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Brenda, I don't know yeah. if you have the, the picture. I want us to take a look at your <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we, we cannot have this discussion and not look at the pictures you've taken, man. Awesome. Huh? Um, mm. How can people find you on social media? On, on, on social media, on Facebook, we are at Backline Ventures. On Instagram, Backline Ventures. Twitter, Backline Ventures. Uh, on all our platforms. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, Brenda, uh, <laughs> if you are ready, now bring it up and then you will comment on the. Pictures, okay. Right. So where can I look at them? Uh, I don't know if you can. <laughs> you can bring it. Uh, can you bring it up also on my screen? Okay. To to those who are watching from home, you can mm. see them uh, uh, there, right there. Now, talk about this. <laughs> this is a safari rally. Uh, actually, this is a four by four challenge. They are called Kenya Racing Team. It's a four by four. These are four by four. Yeah, it's a four by oh, four. Oh yeah, I see it now. Yeah, I can. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. It's a four by four challenge that uh, we had to take part in and also participate in. Where did it take place? Yeah. That was in Tuala in Kajiado, that is in uh, Rongai. Rongai. Wow. Yeah. So this this actually happens in Kenya. I've never been to <laughs> this. You I, should be. You, I, you should be participating in one. You know, in my head, I'm like, I don't know if I'm, if I'm the one who knows things like that. This is... Uh, Still uh, for that uh, sports, that was still uh, four by four. Mm. Yeah. Same same venue. Same same venue, but these are doing a they're doing a ascent on a river. river is, it, is, is that you? This looks like. Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's me. Yeah, it looks like you. <laughs> yeah. So that's a super bike. Uh, wow! I love this shot. Yeah. Somebody look at. I love this shot. How did you catch it? Thank you. So, the, and this is in Kenya. So, we, Kenya, we are doing very well in sports. Wow. Yeah. Look at the, is it the aperture? Yeah, aperture and also the camera settings, uh, the speed that you have to... Shutter speed or something, yeah? Yeah, shutter speed and also now freeze the image, the perfect moment that you have to capture on. Wow. Just look at that. Yeah. And this is still in Kenya? Still in Kenya, imagine. You might think this, this is a Muzungu guy somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> no, this Which is event was this? It was, it was uh, it's called East Africa Sobek Championship. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Kenya bagged the winner on that. How do you manage to get a shot like this? It's uh, taking a time, also a moment, and waiting for the perfect, perfect timing so for you to capture that one shot. Do you like... No, 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 no. Press uh, continuously. <laughs> no. Or, uh, no, it's capturing and also uh, internalizing on your mind, whatever that you want to achieve on that. Mm -hmm. Now from that, you bring now to reality through now the image that you can, that you can able to see now. So it's just one snap of the finger it's, and you get that. You just take one picture. Just one? Yeah, just one. And it takes uh, it's a thousand words on that. Is this the same? Uh, 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 all right, there's another one. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's a go-catching event still in Kenya. You even got them to allow you to <laughs> yeah. land your nini? 
yeah, the promoters, they suppose the promoters also in their, in their space, and we really appreciate them. So okay. Shout out to them, Superbike uh, Association of Kenya. Superbike Association of Kenya? Yes. So you have your support team that is behind you in terms of the companies and the uh, organizations that are uh, helping you and supporting you there? Yes, and also now they also they like the club they have really appreciated because you have been there for since uh, 2019. It's a bit long time, mm. and also you're still in a good relationship with them, and they really uh, promote us just from their craft that for, we do. For, for those who, who are at home and wondering what we are talking about, you see, at the just bring up that other image, Brenda, the other image on, on the screen. Um, this picture that we are seeing, if you look at this particular picture, uh, no, the, the the one that we are looking at. Um, for, for the Superbike. Superbike. Superbike Motors. Yeah, yeah Superbike Association. Yeah, Superbike Association. There yes. is one where we are seeing the the, 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 the the bike and at the background there is Backlane Ventures, um, a banner. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, there's a there's, banner. Yeah, the yeah. next photo, brother, the next one. Yeah. To get that yeah. is a big challenge. How did you manage to bring yourself on board so that they can allow you mm -hmm. to put up your banner at the back. Uh, it's because of the also the value that we bring on board. To that them. picture, that picture exactly. Okay. You, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. It is because also of the value and also the interest that we share with them. Mm. Yeah, because for that we are very passionate about. Uh, we share the same uh, interest with them, and that uh, unifying factor for us is the sport. And uh, with that, we we are able now to grow together. And that's how we're able now to also to, for them to promote us by allowing us to have our marketing props at their events. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and we are thankful for that. And you cannot disappoint them in pictures. You cannot, my brother. You cannot. I can't, I can't afford to, anyway. <laughs> it's not an option. I don't know if anyone of, of us have ever experienced these people who give you promises. Ah, we'll give, we'll give you <laughs> photos. One month down the line, they are not pictures are called your part. <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, so yeah. actually for us, what we do, we, we, we do uh, for every event that we capture the sports, we leave the image the same, same day. Same day? So, yeah, we, we do live pictures. So for example, if, like for Superbike, we have uh, 600cc, 1000cc. Mm. So after every race they do, we usually share the pictures. So we, we, the audience can go online and see the winner so in with a, real time. So what we are talking about here, these are not edited pictures. These are edited. How do you manage to, to, to give it to, uh, to them the same day you took them? That's the power of a team now. Because one wow. takes a picture and one edits. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's the power of a team. I love that answer. That's the power of a team. Yes. One takes the shot, another edits. Yes. Without the battery running out. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And the memory card being lost in the process. Exactly. We collaborate to empower each other. Wow. Yeah. How do you manage to work with this team? Yeah. You know, bringing them together. Yeah. These are different individuals. Yes. Different mindsets, different yeah. desires. Yes. Who desire different shots. Yes. Because not all of you yes. like a shot that has been taken. I don't know if I'm right. Actually, what brings us together is the passion. For all of us, we share the same passion of sports. Mm -hmm. And that's making work easier because everyone, the drive is still the same. And also the agenda still remains the same. And also I agree with you, we also want to, to be open because everyone has a certain skills that mm -hmm. they bring on board mm -hmm. because every picture, everyone has their own style and angle of taking the pictures. Yeah. And also need also to be open just to appreciate everyone's talent on that. If it, as you move around and uh, yeah. take such fantastic pictures. I love this. Thank and you. if you're watching from home, remember these pictures can be found on his Instagram page, right? Yeah, that's on Backline Ventures and also on Facebook, Backline Ventures. Yes. Yeah. As you move around attending all these different ev ev events, Michael. Yes. I'm sure you see challenges that the sports uh, industry is facing. Yes. Do you at some point attend a ven a an event yes and you ask us why couldn't the organizers have done this mm. why couldn't the uh, organizers have done that mm. and then you notice loopholes in the sports industry and you're like i wish the government can do this and that and that mm. let me give you time 
Okay. Give, give, uh, let's talk about that, the sports industry in the country here. Yes. And some of the things that you feel, you know, need to be worked on. Oh, okay. Yeah. So the sport industry in this country is coming up quite well. Mm -hmm. and so I give a lot of credit to KBC, the parent company for Y254, yeah. for supporting mm -hmm. the sports. Because uh, every now and then we know Safari Rally based on KBC and we used to watch them. Mm -hmm. so, the, so such kind of uh, support, we have them. And Makofi also, it's kwa KBC. Makofi kwa KBC. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. And also now, uh, promoting also uh, the sport uh, industry that it is. Yeah. So those are small wins that we have that we really appreciate them. And also, some of the challenges that we have, sport is very expensive. So yes. very expensive. So sometimes also finding some sponsors for for such events can be a task. Mm -hmm. So for for me, the challenge I can say sometimes now is be now to attracting sponsors to come and also invest in the sports industry mm -hmm. because it's slowly coming up and uh, it's quite, quite, quite expensive on that. Wow. But it's coming up on well. It's coming up, uh, right. Yes, compared to, uh, compared to, uh, to, to other countries, Kenya, we are far, far. You are trying to come up well. Yeah, because in East they, Africa, Kenya you know, is doing very well. Many are complaining that, you know, the sports industry in the country needs more promoters. <laughs> we need goodwill. <laughs> we need uh, uh, proper funding. Yeah. You know, uh, Kenya being kicked out of FIFA. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we're like, we need to come up. And we are coming up. We're we are, coming up. Yeah, we are coming up. Yeah. When you move around, and uh, yeah. you interact with people like this. Uh, yes. I'm sure you've managed to... Uh, wow, Brenda has brought in an, another picture. Okay, yeah. so Brenda, uh, before I ask my question. Yes. Let's talk about this. Yeah, so this was during a super special stage that was in Kasarani. For this the, is Kasarani? Yeah, it's a Kasarani super special stage. Uh -huh. Yeah, that was uh, promoting women in sports during the safari rally. Hey, my brother, you're taking good pictures. <laughs> Is my uh, is not only myself but also my team because uh, actually I can be telling you um, it's my team who took the pictures, not myself because some of oh, them it's teamwork. It's teamwork and uh, collab collaboration. What are some of those work ethics you promote with your with the, within your team members so that you mm. can be able mm. to um, achieve mm. your goals and, and 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 ensure that the standards you've set yeah. as backlane yes are maintained yeah the for bottom line for everything is just uh, com communication because as we stretch so much on communication because without communication then when people start to to have uh, miscommunication those when the work can go wrong on that mm. so one thing that you have invested in on our team is communication because communication is everything that has gotten us to where we are communication with the clients communication mm -hmm. with the team so that they don't get to to be affected on that Wow. Yeah. Wow. Hey, I'm amazed. <laughs> I am amazed. I'm looking at this picture and yeah. uh, what? Yeah. Just look at it. It's uh, in a very speedy. It's very speedy. I wonder the, the speed of this car in the corner. <laughs> Quite speedy <laughs> because it's a rally car. Yeah, it's a rally. Yeah. How do you protect yourselves when you're on the field? Uh, from the field, the sports give us safety measures where, where you need to take pictures and where not to cross the line. Those are things that we implement on. Mm. Those are our safety measures that we need to adhere to. Look at that. Uh, and also, uh, uh, on record, everyone was safe, so that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> everyone here was safe. Everyone was safe and was smiling because the car is built for such sports. What happened? Were you able to, to see? Uh, were you uh, able to see in action what happened uh, that led to this particular image? Yes, I was there, and everyone who was there was able to see in action. Uh -huh. And uh, uh, it was uh, it was during you want to do an ascent on the river, but also it lost a bit of balance on that. So you because of the stones, uh, the, uh, 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 the gradient of the area. Yes, yeah, that's the. The sports now, because that's the beauty also of sports. It's risky, but the risk is worthwhile. It's worth it. 
it's all the while because it's all the while. It's all the while. <laughs> because I can tell you, if someone falls, the yeah. next season will still be there. <laughs> the, if someone the, has an injury, the next season will still play. <laughs> there was this video of a certain dog that was crossing the, the road, and then a safari rally car just went on top, on top of the video. Yeah. And I was like, what? <laughs> Magical moments. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, as a photographer, yeah. when you are just close to the road yes. and a rally car is just, you know, passing yes. by, you know, um, anything can happen. Anything can happen. But also you have to take now the, the perfect show that now you stood out for, for the whole world. Is there a particular distance that you are supposed to, to keep for all events? Yeah, they have, they have marks. In every event, there's a mark that you're not supposed to cross. But, oh, it's different from every event? Huh? All events, they have marks. Uh, all events that you have participated in, they have a max safety message that you're now supposed to cross here. Mm. Yeah. Are they equal or similar? They are equal. Events? Yeah, to all events they are. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Let's talk about this. This is a... Uh, That's still a uh, 4 by 4 challenge that is still in uh, Tuala and that uh, organized by Kenya Racing Team uh, that uh, during the ascent of the, of the river as well, uh, upon the river banks. Mm. Yeah. How do you manage to mm. um, get, for example, it's, 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 it's a rally, it's a, yes. a circuit. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we have different events happening at different points yes. in time along this circuit. Yes. How do you manage to get these distinct shots yes. that to take place within this uh, circuit? Okay, good question, Ram. So before any event, we usually have a success picture that we draft upon our, with, the, with our team, and we divide ourselves to communicate and solve our strategies on their teamwork. Mm. So if a certain person will be dispatched at uh, entrance point, another person at a certain corner, so we, we get to merge all the images because you cannot be uh, everywhere at the same time. Yeah. So it's through teamwork and also collaboration you know, you with the teamwork. Run after the uh, you can't <laughs> run after the rally. <laughs> 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 well, uh, yeah. I, I guess uh, we are done with the pictures. Is there any other picture remaining, Brenda, that you can uh, bring up before we wrap it up? Could I get it? Yes. Oh, yeah. So wow. Yes. This is a good moment, my brother. Thank you. So this, this is a CS, huh? Yeah. For, former CS. Yeah, former sports CS. Mm. That was during the African Rally Championship this year, early this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did you manage to share ideas, my brother? You should share. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you, sh you shared a few ideas there. Yeah, I did. Wow. Yeah. And who is this other? Uh, that's uh, our partner. That's uh, called uh, Komi. Mm. Yeah, we collaborate together also in, in the sports industry. All right. Yeah. Brenda, next one. If they're out, bring up the logo. Are we out of... Uh, is there any picture before we wrap it up? And guys, if you are interested in photography, this is a good venture to take. Thank you. Yeah, and also I can give credit to our, to our uh, governor for giving us a permit for photography within Nairobi. So credit to yeah. him. Yeah, really. Thank you for the support. Governor Sakaja. Him. Governor Sakaja, yes. He, he, he's supporting talent. Okay. Supporting talent. Uh, another mm. guy. Yeah. So um, I, I want us to bring this uh, conversation to a close. Sure. And uh, even as, as, as we do that, I'm looking at uh, uh, Beckland Ventures. Of, you know, what are some of the plans you're having now uh, moving forward? Okay. Uh, projects that you're looking forward to mm -hmm. and events that you in, intend to you know, take part in? Yeah, good question. So the event they are looking forward to as for next year, 2023, is Kenya Opens. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, uh, w, w, WRC. That's something that yeah. you're also looking forward to. Mm -hmm. uh, Superbike and any sport uh, in general that will be part in Kenya will be able to participate in. Mm -hmm. So any sport that will be in Kenya, wow. be sure will be there. Hope I'll tag along in one of those events. I hope so, Ram. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Looks hope exciting, so. you know. It's it, until when you are there. Uh, yeah, until when you are there is when you'll be excited and you love goosebumps. goosebumps. <laughs> yes. I know. I, I I can get the feeling, you know, from the pictures themselves. Yes. You know, the pictures display emotion. They pass a message. Absolutely. 
Yeah. Those are just the pictures. But now in, in reality, mm. yeah, you'll be screaming. <laughs> <laughs> I wish you well, my brother. Thank you so much. If someone wants to get a hold of you, remember, mm. yeah. uh, these are people who can mentor you. If you want to take part in photography, take a hold of my people like Michael here. Uh, absolutely. Mm. Are you, uh, and you, you're, you are mentoring people? Yes, we are. Photography? Yes, we are. How can someone get a hold of you if they want to? Oh, okay, that's uh, through our uh, social media pages, that Beckland Ventures on Facebook, Instagram, Beckland Ventures, through our contact, our company line, that is 0700-822-500. I can repeat again. Our company line is 0700-822-500. Mm -hmm. So once you give us a call, someone will get in touch with you and be able to assist when possible. Asanda, Asanda. Thank you so much for having us. My brother, yeah. I wish you well. Good yeah. luck. Thank Keep you so doing much. what you're doing, yes. make money. And also passion. <laughs> <laughs> passion. Yeah. Well, a lot of business with of this discussion. And of course, I was with Michael here uh, discussing matters concerning how you can break out in, in terms of tours and uh, recreation. Uh, that brings us to the end of this discussion right here on Why in the Morning. My name is Ram Maguko. It has been a pleasure being with you. Hope you had fun with regards to this discussion. But we still have more coming up your way right here on Why in the morning.